The shack is East Sacramento's neighborhood hangout. Grateful for the lunch crowd at a time when unpredictable is a daily struggle. We pivot every single day. Um, you know, we've gone through every single kind of challenge. Well, who knows? There's always another one. Queen Sheba is a beloved Ethiopian restaurant off Broadway, with curbside the only option. Zion Tedesi is constantly finding new opportunities of resiliency. Uber, DoorDash, Grab have, even though they charge us like 25% to 30% on our gross profit, not even our profit, but it's okay as long as we survive. In Six months into restrictions, the Sacramento Metro Chamber of Commerce explains just breaking even is a rare blessing. When you look at the economics of a restaurant and say you can be open at 10% occupancy, at 25% occupancy, you're operating at a loss. Uh, you know, even maybe at 80% occupancy, you're operating at a loss. Wildfires, yet another moment of, come on, really? So the smoke has really affected us and myself personally. Like, I, I, I have asthma. Uh, so we've had to close uh, four times um, in the last month due to the smoke or heat. The R Street Corridor is a great example of pivoting in times of COVID-19. The block behind me closed off for multiple restaurants for outdoor dining. But whether it's the heat or the rain that will eventually come or the smoke, dining outside can be uncomfortable and at times unhealthy. The Sacramento Region Restaurants Association is now asking the state for a public health exception to allow for indoor dining if the air quality is unhealthy. There should be some type of allowances put in place for the restaurants to be able to operate indoors because the reality is is that this is a crisis that's not going away. The Sacramento Region Restaurants Association estimates anywhere from 50 to 60 percent of independently owned restaurants in our area are at risk of closing by the end of the year. In Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.